29. This one has a big cystic space, but I thought it looked like a hydratinoma when you get closer and look at the cells. Yes, this is a big cystic space, but the lining is a lot thicker than the lining of most cysts. And it's made of kind of uniform keratinocyte-like cells that are kind of small and round and look, in fact, quite like, in this case, quite like the cells of a poroma. And so this is a hydratinoma, nodular and cystic hydratinoma. They're sometimes called because they can either be big nodules, big cysts, or usually a combination of those. Their cells are usually pink and kind of squamoid looking or keratin keratinocyte looking, uh, rather than the blue basaloid cells that you'd see in spiradinoma and cylindromas. They're blue, and these are usually pink. Sometimes they have real prominent clear cell change, like actual real optically clear. I've seen cases of hydratinoma that mimicked metastatic renal cell carcinoma and were misdiagnosed as such. There's very dense basement membrane material in here, which is a common feature for a wide variety of adnexal uh, tumors, and the cystic spaces are common. So this is hydradenoma, and I believe that these are very closely related to poroma. Poroma, hydradenoma, and a few other entities are part of what I believe the acrospiroma family is the kind of way I like to conceptualize those.